more things have been marked out here in preparation of the upcoming construction. This might not make a lot, lot of sense <laughs> to you who are not here, but this is going to be a fence. But you need more context to understand that. So right now the message is, look, something is going on. And any moment, Angel is going to show up here with a van. He is bringing a lot of things, including some feed for the dogs. So that it lasts quite some time because uh, this is the week before Christmas and that means everything shuts down. And the dogs over there in their enclosure have already noticed that something is going on, that the vehicle is approaching. I can hear it too. But they heard it at the very same moment and went up on their little house there. And you can see them where they are. There is nothing that escapes them. They are very vigilant. And now that this unknown vehicle is getting closer, they started to bark. They really want to know who is that. So there you can see the delivery van. We rented that for this purpose just for today. You see. Because over there, there's not a lot they can do, but at least uh, they sound the alarm. The big box that you see there is actually a refrigerator for our temporary house. Every single piece that is hanging here from the ceiling is accounted for individually. Nothing can escape. Each leg has a label with an identification number. Now Angel is taking one out to have a closer look. And here it is. You can see how yellow the fat is. And you can also notice how it has shrunk. Now the weight is significantly less than when it was fresh. When you start cutting the hem, it is important to keep this fat in order to close the cut surface again, so that it won't dry out. To get your own leg of hem, you can head over to our web shop and order some. There are two options for you to buy the hem. We offer envelopes with 100 gram of hand sliced pieces of hem. And there is the full leg. In the case of a front leg, it's about four to six kilo each. Families in Spain keep the leg in the kitchen and everybody cuts off a slice whenever they are hungry. Good morning. It is minus five centigrades. It looks pretty, but everything is frozen, as you might expect. 
when it's minus five. This will warm up quickly. So I expect 15 positive centigrades. But as you can see, right now, everything shows the frost. So the frozen humidity. I wasn't able to film this because I had to take my daughter down to the bus stop. But the early morning sun made everything look pinkish. It was very pretty. But right now we have regular colors. You see the sun there in the distance coming up. Once the sun is over the trees, then it will start to warm up. But I think I share this. So that you can see that. The trees has not been cut yet. It uh, has time. Once all the juices are down basically, then um, Uncle and I will take a moment to cut this. Um, he also has to find a proper saw for that somewhere in the village. I guess that's available. No need to order this from afar. And then we will do this. We have received a few things and more is on the way, maybe this week. Um, we will see a truck bringing some in some stones and some wooden fence posts. So that would then be the first delivery of material. Yesterday we got a new fridge for the temporary house to improve our life there. You see there, it's also frozen on the surface. But it's the surface, so the minus five has been maybe since 2 a.m. or so, so just a couple of hours. Um, the solar extension will show up somewhere in January, so they said, so it's on order. And uh, when they all start working again, then this will be installed over there. The doggies have no problem with this temperature. They usually cuddle somewhere, uh, like dogs do. They roll up and they find a spot where the ground is not as cold. Usually some plant material, like straw or similar. And then it's all good for them. So here they are. They have to stay inside because I need to do some movement um, later. So it's more convenient. This will also change once we start building things. So the first thing that we will do is build some sort of a lock at the entrance made out of two gates, the existing one and then the one that we are going to add to separate the farmyard from the house area and the dogs live in the farmyard and that way there is no need to lock them up in the enclosure all the time unless we have to do something in the farmyard so that makes things then a little bit easier and here you can also see how this looks like Sakahawea is over there, but I'm not walking there now. <laughs> it's a bit too cold. My hand holding the camera starts freezing. I don't like that. Um, you would not associate Andalusia with wearing gloves. <laughs> and I wish I had one. Um, so this is how this looks like. Yeah, like I said, everything is frozen. But by midday, we are way above positive temperatures and if there is no wind you can even run around in a t-shirt because if the sun goes from minus 5 to plus 15 that's 20 centigrade difference that is a lot of energy and that energy um, in direct sunlight is so much it's so warm that you can definitely run around in a t-shirt so there you have a quick update on that